In this tutorial, we'll learn how to make someone taller in Photoshop. We'll see 10 examples. We'll learn how to do it, when you can or cannot do it, and when you shouldn't do it. We'll learn everything about making someone taller. Okay, first we need to know how to make someone taller. For our first example, we'll be using this photo. The subject is separated from the background. When you make someone taller, we usually stretch the body parts. You need to remember you cannot stretch all the body parts. For a realistic result, follow these rules. You can stretch from the ankle to knees or from the thigh areas. You can also stretch it from stomach to chest. You do not want to affect the foot, knees, hands and obviously not the head. To put it simply, only stretch those parts which have less definition. Okay, so we know which body parts can be made longer. Now we need to know the tools to do it. There are two main ways to do it. One is using the transform and warping it and the other one is puppet warp. Before we apply anything, let's convert it into a smart object so that we have the ability to adjust it after applying any effect or tools. Now press Ctrl or Command and T for free transform. But I should warn you, whatever you do, do not just stretch the whole body. If you do that, then you are affecting the face and other well-defined body parts. That will not look realistic. Okay, let's again press Ctrl or Command and T for free transform. Right click and select warp. Here you can move these points. Also you can add more points. This way you can move any points without affecting the other areas. Here we want to stretch from the ankle to the knees. Go to the top section and select split warp horizontally. Place a horizontal line just above the ankle. Place another line just below the knees. Now you can select these four points and drag it up. Don't do too much otherwise it will look fake. Also make sure you do not move it left or right, just drag it up. You see we are only making the selected areas longer. The other areas are fixed. Click the tick mark to apply. Since we convert it into a smart object, so if we press Ctrl Command and T and go to warp again, we can see everything is safe. Now if needed, we can modify it. Now I will press Ctrl Command and Z to undo. As I mentioned before, we can also stretch the thigh areas or from the stomach to the chest. In this photo, we can do it from all these three areas, but in real life, that might not be the case. We'll see more examples later. Anyway, let's stretch it from the thigh areas. Like before, press Ctrl Command and T for free transform. Select warp. Place two horizontal lines here, but make sure you do not affect the hands. Now stretch it. We can also do that from the belly areas, but not with the free transform. If we use the free transform here, then the hands will be affected and we don't want that. This is where I will introduce our second tool. Go to edit, puppet warp. Here you can place pins or points to a certain part. If we place two points and select one of them, then you can move it from the selected points. The other point will maintain its position. If you hold Alt or Option, then you can rotate it. By the way, at the top there is this mesh option. Also, you can expand it. Sometimes you will see some jagged edges while using the Puppet Warp tool. In those cases, increase the expansion. But here in this photo, by default, it looks okay. In Free Transform, we place two lines from the ankle to the knees. We'll do the same here. Now it's just points. Also place one pin at the top. Now select these three pins and drag it up. One important thing I should mention, when there is just the subject and nothing else that can be compared to it, in those cases you are making the person slimmer, not really taller. Kinda confusing, right? Let me give you an example. If you see a cockroach on a white wall, you just cannot tell how big it is because there is nothing to compare with. It could be a normal sized cockroach or it could be as big as the King Kong. So you should make someone taller when there is someone or something to compare with. We'll see that in the next examples. Anyway, let's first learn how to use the tools. So like before, we can use the thigh areas to make her taller. The process is the same. But unlike the warp from free transform, here we can use the belly position to make her longer because we can keep the hands intact. Just place some pins here and then make her taller. So in most cases, the Puppet Warp tool gives you more adjustability. Okay, let's go to the second example. This is almost the same. First, we need to separate this object from the background. You can use any selection tool. 
Here I will use the select subject. Press Ctrl Command and J to copy it on the new layer. You can also use a mask. Let's create a solid white color so that we can see clearly. Then convert it into a smart object. Like before, we can use the free transform and warp. Let's use the leg areas first to make her taller. Make sure you do not overdo it. Here we can use the free transform warp to make her taller from the belly portions since her hands won't be affected. One thing I should mention, if the well-defined body areas are hidden under the clothes and you cannot see the shapes, in those cases you can include the knees. It doesn't matter if the knees are distorted. In the next example, you can use the leg or the thigh areas to make her taller, but it's not gonna work in the stomach areas. I hope you are slowly getting the ideas. Anyway, let's do some real life examples. This is a perfect photo to make someone taller. For example, we'll increase the height of this guy. There are other people around him, so we can compare the height with the one another. Also, sometimes you'll see the persons in the photo are not separated with one another. Maybe they are hugging. In those cases, it becomes impossible or extremely difficult to increase the height. But in this photo, there is no issue. Okay, we learned first we need to separate the subject from the background. Select any selection tool. You can use the pen tool for a better selection. But to save some time, I'll just select object selection tool and click this guy. Photoshop will automatically select him. Now press Ctrl Command and J to copy him on a new layer. Convert it into a smart object. Since we are gonna change the height, so first we need to clean up the background. In earlier examples, they are just white background. So we didn't need to do it. You can use the container fill, clone system tool or generated fill or a combination of those. Let's use the container fill here. Press Ctrl or Command and click this layer. This will select the subject. Now we need to expand the selection a bit. If you don't expand it, then you may see some tiny areas of his body after using the container fill. With the bottom layer selected, go to select, modify, expand. Let's expand it by 15 pixels. Now go to edit, container fill. You can add or subtract for sample areas. But by default, this looks kinda okay. Press Ctrl or Command and D to deselect. It's not perfect, so you can use the clone system tool to fix it. Press Alt or Option and click to take a sample and paint. This way, you can easily fix it. Okay, let's make him taller now. Like before, press Ctrl Command and T for free transform. Then right click and select Warp. Here we can split the leg from above the ankle to below the knees. Then select these points and drag it up. You can also use the thigh areas. Make sure you do not overdo it. Make it realistic. Okay, now that looks real. You can also do this with the Puppet Verb tool. The process is exactly the same. For the next example, we'll go very quickly, otherwise it would be a 5 hour long tutorial. Here in this photo, we cannot just make one person taller because if we do, we need to make the other person taller as well. Making both of them taller doesn't make any sense. Like I mentioned before, we need to compare the heights with someone or something. In the next photo, at first we can say, yeah, we can easily make one person taller. But look closely, if we make her taller, but the hand must remain there. Changing the hand size won't make it realistic. Of course you can make all three of them taller but again that will not make any sense. You need to make one or two person taller here. If you make them slimmer then that would be a different story. So that's a no for this photo. In this photo yes you can. The subjects are separated from one another. You may need to do a little bit cloning but it can be done. Okay let's go to the next one. Here you cannot. They have eye contact. Making one person taller will win that. It is similar to this photo. There are this eye contact and also this flower here. Don't get me wrong, if we spend a good amount of time, you can do that. Actually, you can make someone taller in most of these photos that I just showed you. But the thing is, you don't wanna spend 5 hours on a single photo, that is not just efficient. In the last example, yeah, you guessed it right, you don't wanna ruin this photo. Either it will be too complicated or it will look fake. So what we have learned so far, we need to change the shapes of those body parts which have less definition, like some parts of the legs or from the stomach. 
also these subjects need to be separated from one another. And finally, we need to have something to compare with. Then we can say it's an ideal scenario. Okay, this tutorial already got a little bit longer than usual. I'll end it here. Hope you learned something from this video. If you did, then like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Thank you.